On most of our investigations at oil and gas facilities, we rarely find any issues at all. There's a few circumstances that we, we typically send a uh, crew out to the Eagle Force Shell. It'll be either a complaint or schedule investigation or follow-up investigations. When we go out in the field, we, we can visit anywhere from one to about six or seven facilities, depending on what we find. If we go to one facility and we find issues, we typically stay there and call the company representative and let them know that we need someone out there now to see and correct what we're seeing and we stay until issues are resolved. When we get to a facility, we drive around the facility, do odor survey, smell anything unusual, high odors that are usual for a gas and oil operation. And then we will find a, a spot where we can get our equipment out. We'll get our equipment out and we start looking at possible emission issues that we may see. Uh, we, like, we like to use a camera first to do a survey of the facility. The optical gas imaging camera that allows us to see there is emissions coming off particular emission points from the facility. It shows up as smoke, which is a very nice piece of technology that allows us to do that. What we're seeing here, these are authorized emissions. On our flyovers, we saw no issues with 95% of the tanks that were surveyed. Once we do that, do we see any unusual emissions, we typically get the other pieces of equipment out that we use, our handheld survey equipment, which are the TVA, uh, the Jerome, the Multi-Rate 3000, and then we also have canisters uh, with us as well if we need to pull a canister sample. Usually when we go out in the field, we, I send two-person teams and get out in the field and use state-of-the-art equipment that we have, and then it gives them a feeling of doing something for, for the state of Texas and, and, and protecting the environment.